Hello friends, it's so good to be back with another devotional and I'm excited to share in today's one and today I want to talk about step by step and step by step is how God leads us in life it's also the approach that He wants us to take in life you know many times we want to have a whole picture and we want everything figured out in life I know many times in my own life when God gave me something to do or when He led me to do something or to go to a certain place, I would always ask Him, Lord, how long is it going to be? What is it all going to entail? And you know, I'm still waiting for answers on some of those questions. And that is because God doesn't always give us the whole picture. God gives us step by step and He wants us to trust Him as we take the next step. Because if God would give us the whole picture, there would be no need for faith. And God wants us to always trust Him. In fact, the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible to please God. So God only gives it to us one step at a time so that we can continue to trust Him, to look to Him, and to have faith in Him. And another reason why God does it that way is because He doesn't want us to get overwhelmed. You know, especially when crisis hits, we can get overwhelmed when we think about all the things that need fixing, all the things that we need to do and all the things that might need restoration. But something that can really help us is to realize that we can only focus on one step, the next step. And as we do, God will give us the one after that. The Bible says in Psalms 37 verse 23, the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord and he delights in his way. So this is really good news. We see here that the steps of a godly man or woman are ordered by the Lord and God delights in his way. He delights in our journey as we take every step that he gives us. And I believe this principle that I talk about today can be seen clearly in the first miracle that Jesus performed when he started his ministry on the earth. And that is found in the book of John chapter 2. Jesus attended the wedding and they ran out of wine and the mother of Jesus asked Jesus to perform a miracle and basically to start his ministry. And the Bible says that the mother of Jesus told the servants to do exactly what Jesus told them to do. And we see then in verse 7 of John chapter 2, the Bible says Jesus told the servants, fill the jars with water and when the jars had been filled he said now dip some out and take it to the master of ceremonies so the servants followed this instructions it goes on to say as the MC tasted the wine that he commended and that he mentioned that it was the best wine he's ever tasted so if Jesus wanted to he could have told the servants exactly how things were going to turn out he could have given them the whole picture but instead he gave it to them one step at a time. He told them to fill the jars with water. I'm sure they were tempted to say, Jesus, we need more wine, not more water. But as they did the thing that Jesus told them to do, as they stepped out on that first step, Jesus then gave them the second one and then the one after that, and Jesus performed the miracle. And dear ones, that is how God leads us to in life. He gives it to us step by step. And as we do what He tells us to do, as we act on a step or an assignment that He gives us, He then comes through with the next one. And if we need provision, if we need help to fulfill that, as we act on it, the help will always be there. But don't try to figure everything out if you need to act on something at the moment if you need restoration in your life or if there's something that you need help with just focus on the next step by asking God what it is act on that focus on that and trust God remember you are highly favored and deeply loved of God